Those unfamiliar with Pokemon may think it's a truly kid-friendly franchise. After all, it's a series where you go on adventures, befriending marketable creatures with elemental powers. But those more familiar with this franchise know that its reputation is anything but squeaky clean. From multiple controversies, to even censored or outright banned content. And today, we will be discussing all of these topics. Specifically like, the hot stuff? You know, the stuff where staying monetized is gonna be a challenge here? For some reason, this is like, a tradition for me on April 1st. But hey, at least I get to make a somewhat clickbait thumbnail. Let's start in familiar territory with the main series games. We start in GSC where two female trainer classes had to be censored. These trainer classes being the beauty trainer and female swimmer. In the original versions, these trainer sprites were winking at the player. How scandalous. So in the international version, their winks were removed. On top of that, they also increased the skirt length of the beauty trainer. But at least forcing trainers to cover up isn't exclusive to female NPCs. In Gen 4, the male swimmer speedos were also made to cover more up. This is despite the male swimmer having looked this way since Gen 1. But it seems the Pokemon company decided to stick with this change. From Gen 5 onwards, the male swimmer would go on to wear shorts. Next, let's take a look at some spin-off titles for censorship. In Pokemon Stadium, Nidoqueen had to be toned down outside of Japan. In the original, Nidoqueen would jiggle her breast upon being sent out, and would repeat this animation when using certain kinds of moves. Heck, sometimes her idle animation would jiggle her breasts just because. In international releases, this was changed to Nidoqueen just roaring, though I guess she still kinda flaunts what she's packing. It's still a little more reasonable if you ask me. Nidoqueen do be a milf though. Next, in the same ballpark as the stadium games is Pokemon Coliseum. In Pokemon Coliseum, you're partnered up with a girl named Rui, who in the original Japanese version wore a more revealing outfit, a crop top and a short skirt. This was changed to a typical shirt and a longer skirt in other versions. Finally, for this section, let's discuss the TCG, in which there is only one card I will be discussing, Misty's Tears. Showing this card on screen, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. That's just a naked Misty on the card. The English version just has Misty crying in front of a Squirtle. With the games and TCG covered, let's go into another part of the franchise. The censorship within the Pokemon anime. The original theme song for the Pokemon anime is iconic. From Mewtwo and Mew flying across the screen, to memorable lyrics like you teach me and I'll teach you. Though the English and Japanese theme songs actually differ quite a bit. Probably for the best, with the original having a pretty inappropriate line. You may remember the part where Pikachu runs under a girl before posing, and may have in turn gone confused as this girl isn't a main character, much less in the anime in general. Well, the reason this scene is in the opening is because of the original lyrics. The lyrics for the English version of this part simply reads, A heart so true. However, the original Japanese lyrics roughly go as follow, Through Earth, clouds and even under that girl's skirt. And apparently you can even hear her scream after Pikachu runs under her. So yeah, probably for the best they changed the lyrics. And not just because the English opening is a banger. Next for a scene in the actual anime that had to be changed in the dub. This scene involves Brock, which may or may not be a surprise. In the school of Hard Knocks, Ash and the gang learn about a girl named Giselle. When shown a picture of her in the English dub, Brock famously says, She can violate my rights anytime. I want a woman that could crush my head in between her thighs. However, in the original dialogue, he said something a little more sus. Instead, he said, I'll look forward to her in eight years. Yeah, definitely censor that one, Chief. For this next one, we'll discuss an episode that was outright banned. You may have heard about the infamous Beauty and the Beach. Not only does it have an old man hitting on Misty and staring at her chest, but Misty also ends up participating in a swimsuit contest. However, that's not the full reason this episode was banned. Even if you've never heard of Beauty and the Beach before, you've likely seen this screenshot of the episode. 
so James with boobs. And I'm just gonna say it, this was probably the best day of my boy's life. And side note, Ash's mom ended up winning the swimsuit contest, so the writers definitely knew what's up. But now we return to just scenes that were censored. In the Kangaskhan Kid, we meet a kid who was raised by Kangaskhan. In one scene, the kid says something that causes Misty to stop him. In the English dub, he just asked if they were people or Pokemon. A pretty silly reason to slap someone. However, Misty's original reason for stopping him is a lot more valid. The original version starts with a close-up on Misty's chest, after which the Kangaskhan kid asks if he can quote, suck breasts. Okay. And surprisingly, this isn't the only censorship that revolves around milk. In Mother Milk Tank, we get another scene involving a woman's milk. Though at least this time, the woman in question is Milk Tank, so it's... Less uncomfortable? Less uncomfortable, right? In the episode, Ash's Cyndaquil and Meowth meet a friendly Milk Tank. This Milk Tank nurses them back to health after they're injured. And by that, I mean she literally nurses them back to health with milk drink. This entire scene was cut from the English dub. Now for the final anime censorship I'll talk about today. But interestingly, this isn't an American censorship. This is actually a pretty funny censorship that happened in Indonesia. In the sun, the scare, the secret lair, Jesse's midriff was censored. As a sheltered American, I'm not going to act like I know why they did this. But regardless of the reason, the results are really funny. You would think they would just have colored over Jesse's torso. After all, the American dub would do stuff like this all the time, famously replacing a jelly donut with a giant sandwich for some reason. But nope, instead of doing that, they just blurred her midriff. According to some sources, they would only do this for the front, leading some to think they were specifically censoring her belly button. Not that it makes this any less confusing or funny. Again, why didn't they just put in the extra effort to color in her crop top? But side note, while America didn't censor Jesse's midriff, they did remove a scene that showed Meowth's dead body. He saw Mimikyu's real form. Don't worry about it, he was fine later. Finally, let's go over the craziest part of the Pokemon franchise, and where the most interesting censorship can be found. The Adventures manga, and other Pokemon manga. We start with probably the most well-known, and honestly kind of funny, example of censorship in the Adventures manga. In a battle between Green and Sabrina, Green herself is stunned by Kadabra. In English, Green escapes by mocking Sabrina, causing her to lose focus. In the original Japanese version, however, this happened. Basically, Green hid her Jigglypuff and Clefairy's Pokeballs in her chest. I don't know the full context for why she did this, but I think it was to plan around Sabrina doing what she did. Anyways, Green still taunts Sabrina, but the original text had her taunting Sabrina for not having a body like hers. Sabrina then commands her Pokemon to attack Green's chest, revealing the Pokeballs and unleashing her Pokemon. Though I get why the English version decided to censor this, even if it is kind of funny. For our next instance of censorship, again, involving a Poke Girl and her chest, oddly enough, we skip to the X and Y manga, where Y, Serena's counterpart, had her clothes stolen by an Electrike while she and her friends were camping. She then exits her tent completely topless. But luckily, her Froakie made her a temporary top made of Frubbles. In the English version, however, Y is given a top right from the start, though we're not done discussing Y just yet, as this panel of her sitting down would also be censored in English. Can you guess what's wrong with it? Well, you'd be forgiven for thinking that nothing is wrong with this panel. Let's put the uncensored and censored versions next to each other. Doing this, we see that in between Y's legs, what at first glance may seem to be her underwear was removed. However, in reality, this is actually just her flight suit, though I guess the English translation just wanted to play it safe. That's about all with the Adventures manga. But as you may have noticed, this section of the video isn't done just yet. That's because there are two more Pokemon manga I want to discuss. The Electric Tale of Pikachu and Pokemon Rebirths. First, the Electric Tale of Pikachu. Now this is a rabbit hole you could honestly make a whole video on, but I'll try to keep it brief. The 
Electric Tail of Pikachu is an alternate take on the anime, so we get to see the story of Ash and the gang through a new lens. The Electric Tail even retreads familiar ground like the Pokemon race. There are even different takes on certain plot points, like Ash properly beating Brock in a gym battle. However, there's a pretty big reason why the Electric Tail ended up here, and is that pretty much every panel involving a woman had to be censored. For example, this is how Misty originally looked before the censorship. And for reference, this manga explicitly states that she's 12. Well, this is sus. Pretty much every woman in this manga have some massive jugs. And sometimes they're just wearing unnecessarily sexualized outfits. So not only did this all need to be censored for the English release, but there's even a section that was so absurd that it was cut out altogether. The scene in question starts with Misty, who as a reminder is outright confirmed to be 12, bathing outdoors, talking about wanting her breasts to be bigger. Mom, I promise I only have this on my phone for a video. Misty then realizes that Ash, Brock, and some other kid were watching her, prompting her to run off naked. At least the Pokemon in this manga look pretty cool. But man, Misty can't catch a break in this video. But hey, to end the electric tale on a more wholesome note, as wholesome as this manga can get anyways, Jesse and James actually become a confirmed couple in this manga. You even get to see a pregnant Jesse. Aw, now that's just sweet. Almost makes you forget this is the manga that forced Missy to wear this. Anyways, while the electric tale still got to come to America, albeit heavily altered, Pokemon Reburst wasn't so lucky. Now this manga is actually pretty interesting. The main gimmick of the manga was basically human Pokemon fusion. While Pokemon and Pokeballs still existed in this world, the characters fight using crystals that give them the traits of a Pokemon, the main character having a Zekrom crystal. Hey, this does actually sound pretty cool, so why didn't we get this manga? Oh. Well, at least they didn't forget the female and gay demographics this time. And there you have it, folks. My search history has now been ruined. I cannot unsee what I have seen. And I may have awakened something within me on a few occasions. But what do you think about the censored content we discussed here? Will I manage to stay monetized this April 1st? Let me know in the comments below. And become a member if you're interested. It's only two bucks a month. Have a nice day, you wonderful people. Funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. Well, Mr. Funny Man, is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby- OH MY GOODNESS!